as a cloud of dust and gas called a stellar nebula. A star's mass is determined by the amount of matter available in its nebula. Over millions of years, this matter is collected together by gravity and it begins to spin. As it spins faster, it heats up and becomes a protostar. Over a few million years, when it becomes hot enough to start nuclear fusion, an equilibrium is reached. A state when the energy released by nuclear fusion balances the gravitational pull. Now it becomes a main sequence star, releasing energy. Smaller sized stars like our sun will continue in this manner for billions of years, slowly fusing all of the hydrogen in its core into helium. When the hydrogen runs out, gravitational force overcomes the outward force of nuclear fusion. Then the star starts to collapse inward and temperature increases. Due to high temperature, helium nuclei can fuse to form heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. Once the core is mainly of carbon and oxygen surrounded by helium and hydrogen, there won't be enough material for nuclear fusion to occur. Then the star's core collapses and the outer layers expand, cool, and it becomes a red giant. The energy released by the fusion of remaining elements pushes away the outer layers and what is left behind is a small hot core. Since there is not enough fuel for nuclear fusion, it will cool and contract further due to gravity. Now it's a white dwarf. The ejected outer layers are its planetary nebula. Over time, the white dwarf gets cooler and darker and becomes a black dwarf since it doesn't emit any light. In the case of massive stars, they undergo nuclear fusion, release energy and live the life of a main sequence star for millions of years only. When the hydrogen runs out, the core contracts and produces more energy. The outer layer will expand more and it becomes a super red giant. As the core contracts, it heats up more and helium nuclei fuse to form carbon, then oxygen, then neon, silicon, and then iron. At last, when no fuel remains for nuclear fusion, the star collapses due to gravity, ejecting the outer layers very fast, resulting in an explosion which is known as a supernova. The extreme heat in the supernova triggers further nuclear fusion and creates all the other elements in the periodic table. Next stage is a neutron star or a black hole. Neutron stars are formed when electrons are forced to merge with protons. In more massive stars, the gravitational force overcomes the nuclear force and prevents the formation of neutron stars. All the matter is squeezed into a tiny space. It becomes a black hole that sucks in all the matter and energy in the surrounding area. Even light can't escape it, so it's invisible to us. But we can still observe their presence on other objects in space using space telescopes.